My name is Vicki and this is Heartland Knits and Sews, my YouTube channel where I talk about all the things I love to do, mostly knitting and sewing. Today I have a sewing related video to you. This is my Make 9 for 2024. You'll have to excuse my voice. I am fighting a little bit of a cold, but I wanted to get this out right away at the beginning of the year because right these are the, these are the plans i haven't done a make nine video for several years kind of because i think my style was changing a little bit and i wasn't really i i wasn't really sure what i was um you know how i wanted my wardrobe to look but over the last year i've i've gotten more of a handle on it i've also lost a little bit of weight so a lot of things are larger for me than I, um, you know, would normally wear. So I need to kind of replace things. So anyway, this is what I came up with. I started looking at my me made clothes as would I buy that if I was in a store? Is that what I would gravitate toward? And so going forward, that's sort of what I want to, how I want to um, kind of plan my makes. So starting out, my first uh, thing on my grid, I'm going to put that up there, is what I am going to start immediately. I have actually the, the pattern envelope is empty because I've got all the pieces laid out ready to get traced. But it is, I try to do a coat every year and I had sort of planned to do kind of the simplest of simple coats, just a wrap coat without any closures or pockets or anything because last year's coat just never got finished I sort of fell out of love with it and I think it was all in that changing how I wanted um, my wardrobe to look and I looked at it again this year I don't think it's ever going to get finished because I just I don't like the fabric I don't like the pattern <laughs> anything but I I saw this pattern and I just fell hard for it just so in love with it. I hope it turns out. But it is this one, the Maison Fauve Tigree coat. I love everything about this pattern. It has, um, let's see if I can point to there. It's got um, long um, darts, like shoulder darts that uh, aim towards these sort of welt breast pockets. And then it's got bigger patch pockets, the little collar, epaulets on the shoulder. I love all of the details. And then it comes in two lengths, but I want to do the long length and it has a long um, vent in the back, which I have never, never done a vent. I've watched their um, uh, sew along on their YouTube channel and it looks really interesting to um, put that vent in and, and get the lining and everything. So this is the plans. The fabric that I chose, also I I got from Mood Fabrics, is the fabric that I'm going to use, it is black camel hair, and I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's got a little bit of a twill weave in it. I don't think it's gonna show up because it's black. It's, it's not even very apparent when you see it in person, but it just has that little bit of a, a twill weave. It is, um, 100% camel hair, so it's super soft. And um, I remember when I was little, my dad having a, a camel hair top coat, and um, his was navy blue. But I just think this will be like so so pretty, in, especially in that coat. It is on the thinner side. When I received it, I ordered this like in November. They had a 20% off sale, and it's like a a little bit thinner camel hair. Fiber is warmer than wool fiber, so that could be part of it. So it may be fine, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do um, underline it with a flannel or maybe use a flannel backed satin for the lining. I don't know. I'm I'm going to do a whole um, like a full muslin kind of mock up just because I want to make sure of length and everything sleeve length and everything um, before cutting into this, but that shouldn't take too long because it really is, it's a really a pretty straightforward pattern if you've, if you've made coats before. But anyway, 
that is my project number one that I am starting right away. The second item on my Make Nine is a fabric that was left over from last year. I think it was October, maybe it was September's box. It was the fabric in the Think Pink box. It was a, a beautiful white cotton um, with a like a little Lurex thread in it. It's a dead stock fabric. And I received this and I loved it and I just had decision fatigue over it. I couldn't decide what to sew from it. I wanted to do something really special. And anyway, it, it got to be the end of the month and it didn't get finished. My goal with the Think Pink boxes is to always sew up the fabric before the next one comes. And this is the only one from last year that I didn't manage to do it. But finally, I, I just decided to make the decision. I, I This was kind of always in my the back of my mind that maybe I should do, and that is the Soaholic Granville shirt, which is just a really classic, classic shirt. Um, I think it will look really pretty in this fabric. But I, I, I sort of kept thinking I needed to do something extra special, and, and then that would entail doing a muslin for it, a twill for it, um, for this one, I've made this a couple times before, and so I've gotten, I know I did a uh, full bust adjustment, and I did a sway back adjustment. The back of it has a yoke and princess seams, and then the sleeves have like really kind of classic little plackets and, and cuffs. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do one with like just plain or one with a pocket, but yeah, um, it, it just, I think it will fit really nicely together, and I have all the adjustments made to this pattern already, so I figure, go ahead with it. Um, so it's been sort of waiting in the wings now to find a space in, like, sewing time, but yeah, I want to get that finished for this. Project number three on my grid is something I've been talking about sewing for ages, and that is a really classic pair of pajamas. Of course, the Carolyn Pajama Pattern by Closet Core Patterns is perfect. And then I was, I got this fabric, I think last year, was it the year before? But it's been sitting around for a while and it needs to get sewn up and it'll be perfect in those pajamas. And it is from Atelier Brunette and it is a cotton is viscose. It's very sort of wrinkled, but it has um, this sort of um, very classic pajamas. Um, it's heavier than you kind of expect, but I want to do this with like a black satin um, piping on it. Just really classic. Um, so yeah, that is on my list of things to me. So those are all the things that I have that I actually have the fabric in hand to make. Um, the next one is a new pattern and a new designer to me. I've never made any of her patterns and it is the Groovy Skirt by Lisa Taylor. I I really love the looks of it. Um, I have a little skirt pattern by New Look that I make all the time. It's kind of that A-line shape. It, um, but it gets, yeah, I think I made it at least 10 times, maybe 12 different times. <laughs> so it can get a little monotonous. And I thought this one has that same sort of look with a little, a few little changes. It's got a front fly and it's got a couple different pockets. It has, it also has belt loops. I just thought it will kind of, if it works, I thought it would be fun to try. And if it works, it'll be another skirt along that same lines that I really like to wear. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give that a try. I also plan on making jeans. So I've made jeans before, so it's not kind of one of those things that I've never done that kind of scares me. First time you make them and they're a little scary. But I've made several pairs of ginger jeans. And to be honest, I got them so that they fit fairly well, but they were never, there was something always just off on them that I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what it was. So I want just to uh, make some new jeans that will fit me better. And I thought I would try the Megan Nielsen Ash Jeans. Now, I have had great luck with her Flint 
pattern. I made the shorts like multiple times and I love how they fit. So I thought maybe her block just would fit my body um, more than the, the um, Ginger Jean ones did. So I wanna give those a go. I like that they have like the four different leg sort of options and I'm especially thinking I wanna do the flared, kind of flared more maybe, depending on how flared they are, um, narrowing them a bit or the straight leg ones. But yeah, I think I want to give um, those a go and hopefully it'll work and I will can do sort of a bunch of different, I'd love to make, um, weight jeans for summer especially. So I've gotten through five things on my grid without a dress, but that all changes now. And I have the Shelby. I'm just going to say the Shelby because I I want to make a dress and maybe a jumpsuit too. We'll see. But definitely a dress. I made the Shelby dress by True Bias in November and I still do have plans to, to uh, I'd talk about that dress and all the changes I made to it, but I really loved how it turned out. And I feel like it has the potential, that pattern, to be the perfect little summer dress for me. Um, so I definitely want to make another one, kind of probably a knee length one, maybe a longer one. I don't know, we'll see. But the, the um, full length jumpsuit also really intrigues me. I think it would be super fun to wear it would all be dependent on finding just the right fabric for that. So it's an option. I'm going to like maybe like see if I can, if I find the right fabric, I would make one. But otherwise, I definitely, definitely want to make at least one Shelby dress for summer. So going forward then, the next one is a dress. Definitely, I want to do a chambray shirt dress. I'm not sure. I don't have the I don't have the fabric. I don't have a specific pattern in mind. If I had to choose right now, I would say the the uh, so over invented shirt dress, just because I I enjoy making that one. I like wearing it. Um, but there might be another one out there that I'd want to try. I don't know. Probably would be the vintage shirt dress. But it all relates to the fact that I want to use these buttons on a dress, and that is these. Um, they're going to be hard to see. Um, there. These are the Pigeon Wish buttons that I got in my, think, or my Beyond the Pink Door Advent Calendar last month. And um, I just think they're super pretty and I think they would be just perfect on a, a kind of very simple shirt dress and they would like show these buttons off. And yeah, I, I did have plans to... I really wanted to do a chambray uh, dress last summer that never happened. Um, so this year I definitely want to do one in a shirt dress so that I can use these buttons. And there's like 15 in a package, so I definitely have enough and probably some left over to put on a sweater at some point too. So yeah, that one is very much up in the air, but a chambray shirt dress is definitely in, in the cards for this this year. So when I got to this point on kind of writing down what I wanted to put on um, for the nine, I got to the point and I realized there were no knits on this list at all. So I wanted to do one and I plan on making uh, what I'm wearing. This is the Bronte Tee by Jennifer Lauren. It's one of my favorite um, tee patterns. It's got long sleeves. You can make it with shorter sleeves, um, but this is a, a, a really soft, rayon viscose um, rib knit. I don't know if it's like just, yeah, there you can see it. Um, but I want to do one of these in like a creamy kind of off-white color. Um, and then do, uh, it's not going to really show, but this comes from the back and overlaps along here. And on some of them, I, you can put like little buttons. This is sewn down, but you can put little buttons there just kind of for show. So I want to do a white one and then do little black buttons along there on the, on the shoulders. And I think that will work really nicely 
um, throughout my wardrobe. And lastly, I want to commit to doing my Saturday morning bra sewing. Um, the last couple years I have done um, this on every Saturday morning. I've sewn a bra like through the winter time. Um, last year I got very, <laughs> got a little out of control. I did, I wanted to do a set, so a bra and panty set each weekend and I managed to get it done it was not it was not good at the end I got very kind of overwhelmed I got behind and then there was it's a lot more work to do the two so this year I still want to do sets but I want to do them um, the bra one Saturday morning and the little matching panties the next Saturday to kind of break them up because some of them do take, depends what pattern. On the grid, I put on the Black Beauty bra and the Friday French cut, both Emerald Erin patterns, though that may change. You know, those are just sort of ones that I, I have a, a pair of self-drafted little undies that I like to make. But what the, the difference also in this year is I want to do them all in the same sort of color story so that because when I make them over the winter they kind of get hung on my wall in the sewing room and then I can take them down in the spring and I think then it'll be really pretty I will have a whole little sort of collection all in the same like tones and they're going to be um, kind of an aqua sort of Tiffany blue and the latte which is Emerald Erin's like lightest color nude color. Um, so there will be um, some of the laces that I have kind of combine those two colors. They could be solids, they could be, you know, patterned. Anyway, I think that, that they, everything will like blend together and it'll look really pretty in my lingerie drawer to have everything sort of matched sets. So there we have it. That is my make nine for 2024. If you're not already a subscriber, please do hit the subscribe button and then you can watch as through the year as I get things accomplished or not. Hopefully they'll all get accomplished. And if you um, like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And until I see you next time from my heart to yours, happy sewing.